Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida, still adjusting my camera at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. And that is an 8 by 10 inch canvas. These are my glasses. This is my leftover paint from my ring pour from the brown challenge with a little bit of turquoise in there. And I'm going to do it again. Add some more brown. I'm going to take my Oxo omelette turning spatula out of my way. So flip and fold. I'm going to throw some white paint all over my canvas and hope that that's enough with my torch so I don't knock it over. Best paint spreading tool I know of available on the Amazon link at no added cost to you if you shop there. <laughs> Anything you buy there will help me out eventually. Thank you so much for to the to I can't talk. To those of you who have shopped my Amazon link, thank you so much for trying to help support my production of videos. All right, so if I need more, I'll give myself more. Paint. I meant to leave myself some white space. Isn't that funny that I can't seem to remember to do that? So the group challenge is brown and two other colors, and I don't think of black as a color <laughs> or white. So I've got some copper in there and some turquoise. And I am incredibly tempted to add some of that copper again. And maybe some of that turquoise since the copper stopped cutting, coming out suddenly. And I have some white metallic that I was looking for for the longest time and keep hiding on myself. There it is. I'm going to throw some of that in there too. Because that way I can make things a little more interesting by adding some negative space. I'm just going to grab an, uh, a Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatula if I can get the words out. Dump the rest of this paint right out there. So whatever I do from tipping this, there's also some black enamel, black acrylic enamel, which helps cells production amazingly. So it doesn't matter how schmutzy the paint is, it's mostly going to be used to flow other paint. So that's going in the bucket so I can use it again in a minute. Hopefully. Grab a short edge catcher if I have one handy. That looks good. Let everything flow in an interesting angle, remembering that I can use whatever colors I want as I decide I want them to add them back in. I have far more gold than brown. And since this is supposed to be brown challenge, I think I'm going to give myself some more brown. Flow it right over there. I might even be tempted to try and use the edge catcher to cover my edge with it. And my finger. So if I like it too much, I'm not going to be able to use any tools in it, but if I like it... I don't know. Can't even finish that though. <laughs> That's how messed up I am right now. And I haven't done anything to be that way either. But 5 o'clock is coming. So whatever I see there, I like the idea of adding some gold. I do like that idea, but evidently it's not going to be helpful if I pick the only bottle that nothing will come out of. So this is some Arteza gold, which I've been enjoying very much lately. I'm going to take my paint right off my edge catcher. Put it right there on that. Even though there's some white in there, it's still okay. Kind of liking this. Still a little paint, go right over the edge. I think I have enough to keep going. I kind of want some more turquoise. And we're supposed to use three tools, and so far, 
Mostly the tools I like to use are my skewer. And a straw. All right, it's time to get back in position again because I got paint coming my way. I really want some white in there, you know that? Let's put some white pearl in here because I know when I go down, it will also be able to come back again. So whatever paint is on the bottom, then I can lift up my canvas a little bit, touch it a little bit, squish it so it goes right back in. So this is for anybody who thought I couldn't use <laughs> like earth tones. Evidently I'm okay with it. We'll see. <laughs> Still. If I want to do the same thing right here. I just did elsewhere. Because I can see a little bit of canvas there. And I just want to be able to cover my edge. Come on, let go. And throw my paint back in. Now I can let some of this come right off and I think I will because then I'll scoop it up and put it back in the spaces that I feel like I need it. I don't want to give up all my negative space though so I guess I'm gonna let it go back again. Take that paint off. Put it right there. I got some other brown on my tile. I'm liking this. For anybody who's ever wanted a piece of my artwork that's neutral, my email address is under the under the link tree link. That's under the video. My paint pouring recipe is also under the under the video. I know black and white cell, but I'm not familiar with brown because I avoid it. But this is for the, uh, the October challenge in the Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation, Appreciation Group for students on Facebook, my group. And uh, should you happen to want to check that out, I also post the next day's video there too. So I kind of like this, but I'm not sure that that means it's going to stay. Matter of fact, I'm kind of sure it's not. What else can I put in there? Do I have any black that's open? No. I do have this black enamel. That might work. That's kind of what I want. And I just mixed it up too. Let's drag that out. Looking like an eagle beak for a minute. So paint will flow to paint. So whenever you add new paint, it's the heaviest area that's going to move. I don't see enough turquoise in there by any stretch of my imagination. So I'm going to give myself some more. And use my straw. spread it around and maybe I'll make some cells. Did I go too far? I'm not sure. Yeah, I don't mind that. I kind of like it actually. I might even want a little tiny bit more. Maybe some dots. And then pull them through with the skewer and see what I think. So that's very subtle, maybe subtler than I had in mind, in fact. I kind of want more black. Where? Right there. And I should be able to get that straw out of my hand and tip that little place. 
without destroying everything else too much, maybe it's time to just cheat. There, I kind of like that. I kind of still want some copper too though. I've just decided because I like how that looks. I just don't know if I can keep it. Whatever shows up on the surface after you've tipped can often stay, but sometimes the paint that you add will sink, like that turquoise. If I hadn't spread it out, that was going to keep sinking. Some more. Yeah. And a little more still. What did I do with my straw? I tried to make it go away. Let's hope I didn't stick it in any paint. So agitated paint will often sell, but we don't know if that's going to work out this time or not. I am going to grab a skewer. mess around a little bit. Sort of maybe should have kept that negative space. But I guess it's okay. So that is probably that and I could have torched early on and I didn't do that. And if I had, do I really like all that gold? That's a question I cannot answer. Maybe I can answer it. I want to say I'm done, but I, I know in the past you guys know when I say I'm done it doesn't mean anything, so I'm resisting. I am using the Folk Art Gloss Enamel Black to change some things up. so slightly. I like composing, what can I say? And I like the eye to move around inside my compositions, so that's doing, that's working well for me. I'm going to try and move that with some air. And if I'm lucky, it'll mix with some paint. And make some cells. I'm just learning about what can happen with black and brown because I definitely don't use very many neutrals. I want to call it good. So this is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida. I think I said that. <laughs> I probably didn't, but I might have. It's just that kind of video where I'm a little nuts. Yes, I like that. A little black outline on my turquoise. Draw the eye over there. Maybe even a little white dot in my black. Or a couple. Or a few.
Cool. I hope. <laughs> okay, so time to torch. I see a little tiny piece of canvas which will probably disappear tomorrow and I shouldn't worry about it, but okay, sera, sera. You have to be really old to know what that what show that came from. Somebody will tell me. Okay. Boy. I'm bothered by the lack of copper. That's a little better. I'm going to call it good. Take the basic brush to it. <laughs> what can I say? I want some really extraordinary things in my paintings. I know, and it's only an 8 by 10 too. It's not the first time that this has been a solution, I gotta say. I live for the drama of getting something spectacular. And that's cute. I don't know if cute is what I was after, but it's cute. And I like it better than I liked it the other way. So I love you guys. There's over 90,000 of you. Please check the end screen for the exhibition video if you are interested in supporting the studio and production of more videos. And you contribute through PayPal or Patreon. You can see the prizes on that exhibition video for any given month. And uh, that's usually at the end of the month. I think I'm going to be late in October because I have a show at the beginning of November so it might be after the 6. All right I got some edges to touch up that um, that just got completely changed at the last minute and I'm all good, all good with it. I like it a whole lot better than I did before. No matter how hard I tried I wasn't getting what I wanted. So I'm going to zoom in on that the best way I can. It's kind of far away, isn't it? I'll tell you guys I love you. And I have over 1,500 videos on my playlists. If you go to my channel, you'll find them. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group is a Facebook group for students. You can also find tomorrow's video there. Please give my, me a thumbs up if you wouldn't mind. And uh, I really appreciate your comments and all the donations that have kept, helped keep me painting all this time are very appreciated. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you for being here. I love you much. I will see you anon. I'm sure I forgot something. Oh, Teespring clothing on another video. I got some new stuff there. Check it out. All over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. Bye for now. Priscilla out. Beeping, beeping, beeping. Bye. I'll see you anon. Take care of each other. Take care of yourselves.